epidural fails. So when and why doesn't an epidural work? Well, good news is epidurals rarely fail. There's actually about 90% chance that they will not fail. So again, that 10%, okay? So the causes are, there's a few different things. Number one is incorrect placement. Um, again, we use a blind technique, and no, I'm not blind. I get this from patients all the time. A blind technique basically means that we are not using other advanced technologies in order to be able to see. So we're utilizing our basically feel um, and sound. So whenever we go to place an epidural, okay, this is what we call loss of resistance. When we have that nice loss of resistance, we're then able to take these this catheter and push it directly through in order to get the epidural. So incorrect placement can happen because guess why? If you are lopsided whenever you're trying to, to place an epidural, your visual field will be completely off. Another thing is this catheter. I don't know where this catheter goes, right? I'm feeding it. Ooh, there we go, we feed it. But look at that, it could flip flop, go different places. That's why some moms feel things to one side or the other. Insufficient medication. The other day, everyone knows my epidurals are sexy, they're the bomb. Guess what happened? I didn't even turn on the pump or someone else had turned off the pump, which I was like, that's really weird. My epidurals always end up working. I walk into the room and realize the pump was off. So sometimes that can be insufficient medication and or the pump just not being on. Other things are like patient positioning and then previous spinal surgeries. If you've had a laminotomy and laminectomy, please let us know. You know why? Because they shave the epidural spot. Yep, and guess what? If they shave an epidural space, I can't go into the space, but you know what we can go into? The cerebral spinal fluid. So the difference between an epidural, epi, dura, which means before the dura, and when you crack in, this is the dura. This is where the cerebral spinal fluid that bays your brain and your back are both located. So if you want to learn more about epidurals, come follow me, your favorite, uh, no mo nausea, and go grab one. 10 bucks will save your entire birthing experience. You know why I know that? Because I had to suffer and I don't want you to. So I'm the actual doctor that invented it. All you gotta do, smell, place it on that spot. And if you also have no more migraines and no more sleepless nights, just in case you girlies need a little extra.